Hi guys and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today not only are you going to see me suck at World of Tanks, but you're also going to see the SU-100Y Russian Premium Tank Destroyer. Now it's a tier 6 and it's affectionately known as the Box Tank. Can anybody guess why? Well, because it looks like a big box on tracks. It's, it, it's phenomenal. I absolutely love this machine. Now while we're trundling along here, let's uh, talk a little bit about it. Now it's got a 130mm gun at tier 6. 130mm. Now this thing puts out a whopping 196 penetration and a 440 average damage. It's basically the ISU 152 with the BL-10 troll cannon at tier 6. Now they've balanced this out with absolute garbage armour, it's 60 mil all round and it's big as a house I mean you are going to be seen in this thing and when you are seen in this thing you are going to get shot at and when you get shot at 99% of the time it's going to go through but this gun is fantastic watch this Jay, uh, Jagdpanzer sorry Jagdpanther it hits me for 109 damage it's tier 7 I hit him for 392. Now that's a fair exchange in my books. Now, oddly enough, its premium ammunition is actually does less penetration. I mean, you can see there, look, they've seen me very easily. Everything's at me. Sorry. Going back to penetration, the premium ammunition, strangely enough, is, is less. It's 171 pen, but it does more damage, 510 average damage. And it also fires high explosive, 65 penetration, and 580 damage. Now, you can and do get in matches with tier 4 tanks in this. Now, I can't think of anything at tier 4 that has more than 100, well, that even has close to 440 health. Tier 4s, you just, you want it, kill them. It's eating them for breakfast, kicking puppies, all that sort of lovely fun stuff. I mean, even at tier 5, there are not many tanks that have more than 440 health. You know, you one-hit kill most tier 5s as well. Tier 6s, even some of those, you can one-hit kill them. And the others, you really, really ruin their day for them. You really do. I mean, that Panzer 4H there, I ruined his day completely. And this Stug doesn't know how lucky he is that I can't get a decent shot at him. Going back to some of the stats of the tank, um, it it's actually quite manoeuvrable uh, for a big tank. It's got, I think it's an 890 horsepower engine, uh, it gets up to 35 kilometres an hour, and to be honest, it, it does get up there quite often. Um, its traverse is 30 degrees a second, which that's, it's not bad actually, that's pretty good for a big tank. View range... Not bad, not brilliant, 350 metres. Signal range is a little low, it's it's 440 metres. and That can be a problem sometimes, you know, when your tanks are at the other side of the map. And you can't see what they see, you can't even see your tanks. But it doesn't matter, because you'll be having so much fun just disintegrating what you can see. Um, it's aiming time 2.9 seconds, and it's accuracy 0.38. Aiming time, not brilliant. Accuracy, not brilliant. But it's what you come to expect from a dirty, great, big Russian gun. Uh, now, its gun depression is only minus 4 degrees and its elevation is only plus 12. Um, again, not great. And I've just completely ruined that guy's day. That poor old SU-85 over there. Now this, this is where... I start sort of getting lulled into a false sense of confidence and I think yeah I'm just destroying everything let's trundle out into the middle of this field why not it's going to sit in the middle of a field in a dirty great house <laughs> what harm can come to me uh, I think I'd seen a wolverine over there and he doesn't know how lucky he is yeah there's a stug up there that again doesn't know how lucky he is. Now, as for equipment on this thing, all I've got in it at the minute is a camouflage net, which is what mine came with. Because, um, to be honest, I wasn't sure about what equipment I actually want to put on it. I would recommend 
uh, a gun rammer to bring your reload time down. It's around 15 seconds. Um, well, I mean, they've got to do something to balance this bad boy out. Uh, oh, T29 up there. Oh, <laughs> rebounded a shot. That is something that you don't see very often in one of these things. Uh, now, yeah, tank gun rammer uh, to bring down your reload time. And then you could either go with vents or possibly optics. And here we go. We won that, even though I came to a, a sticky end, like I say. Drove out into the middle of the field in a house. Not a good idea. Um, but yeah, I, I do like this tank. Uh, Battlemaster there, I think, gave me an extra 10,000. So it was about 42,000 in that, which is not too shabby in a tier 6. Now, coming up, we have some footage of me disintegrating some tanks. Because, well, why not? Who doesn't like to see tanks being disintegrated? And I'll show you what I mean about the tier 4s. Not only does it chew them up and eat them for breakfast, it uses their bones to pick its teeth. And you're about to see what I'm on about. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, you see that Matilda over there? No, you don't. VK-36. They're a tough tank, aren't they? Take that, you blighter. Oh, hello, Mr. Stug. Best get your coat. You're going on, pal. Hmm. What else can I terrorise? Oh, look. A KV-1 on half health. Bye-bye. An 88. I think I'll like a bite out of that. Boom. Not quite a one-hit kill, but not far off. Just enough for somebody just to poke him and finish him off. And there you go. Big stupid tank, visible by everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Haha, <laughs> SU-85 on full health. Invisibility won't save you. Told you. Now, you'll see what I mean in a minute about... This thing can shift when it needs to. You know, we're making a push here on Tundra. Our team took the hill without any resistance, which is quite unusual. And they're all making a push for our base. And so I decided to go around to their base to try and sort of entice something to come back so I can, well, stomp on it. I mean, as you can see, it's going up this hill quite easily. Over 20 kilometers an hour. And I almost feel sorry for this M5 Stuart. Nah, not really. That was too much fun. Now, I've left this clip in to show you that I do have some incredibly bad luck at times. I really do. Uh, we're on Hidden Village. There's a T-150 up there. And I can't quite get a shot on him in time because of the aim time on this. I'm a little bit slow, I admit. I probably could have popped one off. Aim up. Bang. Somebody drives straight in front of my gun. And I hit their stupid turret instead. So after some very colourful and salty language that came out of my mouth at that point, aimed at that uh, girl's on panzer, I try and line up for another shot. And even I couldn't believe my eyes. Just watch. Boom. Ricochet off not one tank, but two. So not only did it bounce off the tank I was aiming at, it hit another tank on its path and ricocheted off that as well. Unbelievable. And I just basically mill up and down. Everybody else around here dies. I start taking some hits. I think I fluff a shot. Yeah, there we go. Straight into the ground. And then you'll see me come to, well, a very sticky end, and that's about it. But as for this tank, I love it. 
I absolutely love it. I die most of the time in it, because if I get seen, I get hit. And, you know, you get penetrated and that's it, you're dead. But I love it. I've never had so much fun in a tank on World of Tanks. And seeing it in the store this week, I thought I'd have a look at it. But there you go. Hope it's uh, been enjoyable for you. And don't forget, if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.